five things narcissists do at the end of a relationship. The narcissist will suddenly change towards the end of the relationship. They will attack and criticize you suddenly. They will turn against you. They will do things you never thought they would do. Which is why I decided to create this video so that you can prepare for it. So here are five things narcissists do at the end of a relationship. One, smear campaign. The smear campaign doesn't always begin at the end of the relationship. Sometimes the narcissist will plant seeds long before the relationship ends. But they will do it in a way as though they're trying to help you, to make people think that they're concerned about you. And then when the relationship is over, people will already assume the reason why. Because they've already planted these seeds about you. And they do that because they already know the relationship is going to end. They know you're not going to tolerate their behavior forever. They know that at some point you're going to get fed up. Because they've seen it before, where people get tired of them. So they know it's only a matter of time until you stop wanting to deal with them. And when the relationship gets to that point, they will be ready for it. Because they've already planted the seeds. They've already made people believe certain things about you. Because they've got to have everyone on their side. They believe that more people means more power. So they've got to have everyone at their disposal. Because they have a black white mentality where they are only winners and losers. And they want to win. So they've got to have these people available for them to use. So that they can play the victim and gain their sympathy. By telling them that you did something to them. They will give people a reason to turn against you. So that they can isolate you and make you feel like you're alone. Stealing. At the end of the relationship, the narcissist will steal from you. They will take money out of your account. They will steal your possessions. Because it comes back to their black and white mentality, where they believe that there are winners and losers. And if they have all of the money, then they are winning. Three. Blame. They will blame you for everything. They will say that everything is your fault. You were the reason why it ended. You spent all the money. You didn't give them enough attention. And that is why things went wrong. It's never them. They don't take accountability for anything that they do. So it has to be you. Because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. Four, love bombing. They will try to save the relationship. They will try to come back by bringing back the side of them that you want to see. 
They will bring back the false character. They will try to charm you again. They will try to regain their control over you. They will do the things that you wanted them to do in the beginning. Or they will tell you that things will be different. But they're not doing it because they care about you. Or because they want to improve the relationship. They're just doing it because they realize that they benefit more by being with you. And that's all they really care about. What is more profitable for them. And if they believe that they can benefit more by being with you. Then they will try to stay. Five, they will become very demanding. They will demand a lot of your time and attention. They will text and call you all the time. And they may even show up at your house or work. They will expect you to work hard to meet their high standards, even though they never did anything for you because they're very arrogant and entitled. They think the world owes them a living. They believe that they are entitled to well-being and a comfortable life without having to work for it. Because in their minds they are the best thing since sliced bread and you're meant to see it as a privilege just to be around them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.amy slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.